Hello, welcome uh, to the Cognos tutorials uh, where we have a set of tutorials covering the all the aspects of uh, Cognos reporting tool package. So this is a first video on that uh, topic. So what today we'll talk about is different parts of our components of Cognos uh, which kind of gives you a brief overview. And, and and then from the next videos we'll get into the detail of you know how to uh, do the modeling how to uh, create reports and etc cetera, etc cetera. so let me choose uh, my uh, digital pane uh, just give me a, one second so we have uh, cognos now cognos mainly have uh, but before i get into cognos so if you think of reports what report does is that let's say we have uh, okay, let me choose a free drawing mode. Let's say we have a we have a database uh, which has data, right? So it could be your sales data. It could be you know inventory data. So this has, and that those data are stored in, let's say, uh, tables. And then you have your users in the company who wants to see the reports. And this report could be in Excel, could be in a web page. And then the reporting tool really solve this problem. So what they do, again, these are kind of in a basic stuff, which you already know gets the data and publishes it in a user friendly manner and so the few of there are basic components of any reporting tool first one is you know extraction so extraction of data and then then there is publishing Now these are the main components. Now there are other peripheral components. So for one, for example, is one could be an access control. For example, who gets to see what? You may not want to expose all your reports to everybody. So there is something called access control. Then uh, four is something like uh, scheduler. That means some report could be scheduled to run every day and some reports could be a sort of a you know, ad hoc report. So these are sort of, you know, th there are um, other pieces, but I think, you know, these are sort of the basic idea. And now we get into um, Cognos. So let me choose, a, let me just erase this part. Uh, So we were discussing about uh, different parts of Cognos. So, uh, or sorry, uh, the basic uh, components of reporting. Now, coming down to Cognos. So Cognos does these things uh, through this sort of components. The one is a one is something called your model. What the model is does is that it maps your database to something which Cognos can understand, which is a model. So it could be a a data model or a business model which we'll get into uh, details later on. But basically you can think it's some sort of a repository of your data, meaning not actual data, but the, the structure and the relations of the data. Now, and then it has a component called Report Studio. So what Report Studio does is it interacts with your model and then helps you to create reports. So that means, let's say this is your uh, database and you know database has a relation with model so which basically stores the metadata information of the database where your report studio interacts with that creates reports and these are the reports which are accessed by end user. Now there are some additional tools like something called a query studio and a analysis studio. So these are again a same sort of a tools uh, just like report studio which helps you to create and publish reports. So again, let's go over to that, go over again on these things. 
So here you have uh, main components are model or you know you create a model using something called a framework manager. Framework manager. So this is a framework manager. Now so so using framework manager you create a model which contains the database structure uh, information so for example let's say if you want to create a report on uh, sales data so there could be a table called you know sales table so your model would have the information about the uh, sales table meaning the name of the table the columns um, etc etc now some of the column names you can change it in terms of you know name so that you want them to appear in a, with a different name you can um, use them you can also define the relations between uh, tables so those are all done in model using the framework manager then the report manager studio and there are a set of other tools which you use to create the reports so that's uh, pretty much the 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 main components of cognos now what we'll do in the next uh, uh, video or next few lessons is that we'll first create a model using the framework manager and and then and then we'll create um, some few reports using the report studio